Hi everyone, welcome to St. Christopher's Sunday School Online. We are so happy to have you be a part of our community. The purpose of this video is to welcome you and to tell you a little bit about our program and a quick walkthrough of uh, your bag that you should have received and what's inside. So the first thing to do is take out your folder and inside it has lots of stuff. The first and foremost, it has your guide to how we're going to do Sunday school this year. So the first aspect of it are the online weekly videos. And each video corresponds every week to a lesson in the gospel. And the format of the videos are, we'll read the gospel, I'll read it to you, using either uh, Jesus Storybooks or Spark Storybook, Story Bible. Um, or sometimes I pull from other sources just depending on the week. And then um, I will explain the journal reflection for the week, and it's a question based on the reading. And that way, if you are deciding to do the journal for the week, you can get started while the rest of us who will be doing the craft can do that during the time you're writing. So if you're not doing the journal, um, then, or you can do both if you'd like to, but then the other option is a craft, and sometimes there's actually um, an experiential activity. And so I will walk through those and do those with you. Um, in your bag, you should have received all the supplies. Oh, speaking of the journal, we did give you guys a little journal you can use, and there should be lots of fun little stickers um, for you guys to decorate your journal however you would like. The rest of the stuff in the bag um, in terms of the craft supplies are for all the different crafts that we have for the next 10 weeks. So I gave you guys 10 weeks worth of the supplies um, and we're assuming that you have some pretty common household items like crayons and markers. Um, if you don't though, just let us know. Um, then after that, we'll go over a word and action item for the week. And then we together will say the Lord's Prayer. And in your packet also, you should have your coloring pages. So if you don't want to do the journal or craft or activity, you're just not in the mood for it, that's okay. You can also do some of the coloring. Um, each of the coloring pages corresponds to one of the stories. And at the front of this coloring section, um, there are two copies of the Lord's Prayer. And so you just want to decorate yours to pull out for at the end of our time together when we say the Lord's Prayer together. And there's a second one in there uh, if you'd like to sign up for our pen pal program, which I'll tell you about in a second, and you can send that to your pen pal. Um, I would love for you to send me any pictures of the crafts that you do um, or any of it. I would love to just see and I'm happy to display some of your artwork if you want to drop it off at the office or mail it or even a picture of it. I would love to put it up. I'm so excited to see what you guys create. Uh, the other option also just so you know all these forms and tabs and things can be found on our website. There's a new tab called Online Children's Formation, and that will have, um, that's where the videos are going to be stored, a link to our YouTube channel will, where all the Sunday School videos will be. And then there's also kind of all the items that you see here in case you lose yours. Those are all going to be on there as well. And then I also have a little gallery I'm starting of our artwork and, and some of our time together and some of the upcoming events. Um, so I would love for you to sign uh, the email, which I'll be sending to you with the form uh, to register for Sunday School, and also check the box that says you give us permission to show your art um, or a picture of you uh, online that you, of course, approve. Um, so then you saw uh, the online videos. I talked a little bit about the supporting materials, the crafts, the journaling, the activities, the coloring books. And then that brings us also to uh, the checklist. And your checklist corresponds with some of the things we'll be learning. 
um, as well as some of the different aspects of our program like kids and cards um, or going to one of the events. And that also reminds me that we have also the Children's Worship Bulletins. Uh, so these come from the diocese and we don't always know when we're getting them. So when we get them in, I will send them out to you. We just got our September, so there's a mailer coming out to you. It'll look like this and it has your Children's Worship Bulletins. They also correspond with the Gospel for the week. So there's even more activities to help you learn that Gospel lesson. Um, the next aspect I'm so excited about is our children's mission and outreach this year. And we are doing, it's twofold, there's intergenerational pen pals where you'll be matched up um, with someone else in the church who's a different generation than you uh, to be a pen pal. And you're, we would love for you to share your art with them, let them know some of the things you're learning in Sunday school, or just talk about whatever, um, whatever, where, however your friendship grows is really up to the two of you in terms of what you guys like to write about. Maybe it's your hobbies, activities, or some upcoming events at church. Um, and that's really great for a lot of our parishioners who aren't getting to be as active as they normally would, or they would get to see you guys in Sunday school, uh, or when they come to church and they're not getting to see you, so they would love to hear from you. If you're not able to commit to that, totally understand. Other option that we have are kids and cards. And that is, let me pull this out of here, this little packet, which has all the due dates and a bunch of blank cards for you. So you can make different cards for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. So far, that's what we have mapped out for the end of 2020 and you drop them off at the church or you mail them to us and we will send them to our parishioners who are in nursing homes um, who aren't necessarily able to have visitors and don't get to see their family as often who would love, love, love to get cards from you. That would just make their entire day. Uh, if you decide you wanna make more than the little blank cards we have, no problem, you can make your own or just let us know if you need more blank cards. We're happy to get those to you also. So that is our mission and outreach. Uh, and the last aspect are our events, which you should have gotten a children's calendar. Got it on this side. Another one on the board. Um, and these are the things that we're trying to keep us all involved and be in person as much as safely possible for now. So we have um, our meet and greet coming up, which is online, but that's an opportunity for all of us just to get to know each other and say hi, introduce yourself. Um, and I would love, if you're interested, to share your God Made Me special page. Um, you can also do a variation of this. If this doesn't resonate for you, that's totally fine. It's just an opportunity for us to get to know each other. So if you'd like to do something a little different, that's great too. Um, and then you'll see all the different events we have, like we're doing the Bless the Pets drive through We're doing treats and trunks. That includes a food drive we're so excited about. Uh, and then we have Christian helping us with a hymn sing, uh, carols and cards. So you'll be making cards and learning the history um, of some of the Christmas carols and singing them while we make our cards together. And then uh, when we get a little bit closer to Advent, which there will be a, another delivery um, with more materials, because again, this is for the next 10 weeks, we'll have a better idea of what to expect for the Christmas pageant and going forward. Um, I think we're all really just kind of taking it a little bit at a time, trying to figure out the best way to do this. I'm always open to suggestions. Please feel free to email Jamie uh, or Trish at the office. Um, our email is office at stchristopherswi.org. We would love to hear from you. And thank you so much. I can't wait to see you soon.